Hello everybody, Computerized MTG here, and here we are, and we are now in the Amon Kit season. Um, I didn't get to go to the pre-release. Uh, I had other plans during the weekend, and if you watched the last, the 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 fifth match of the uh, Bluetron uh, games that I played, I said something about mentioning uh, the or me, me wanting to. Christ, me make. <laughs> me wanting to make a video about the my my favorite spoilers or whatever well that didn't happen i wanted to uh put it out um before the pre-release weekend and that didn't happen uh so yeah here we are now um you can probably tell this is a, a deck uh it's a red deck it's a mono red deck it's a uh, very different than uh what i'm what you're probably used to seeing me play, which is control. But I wanted to build a really cheap deck, and so I started browsing around, see if anybody had some uh, brews built up, and I will link in the description where I got these, uh, this list from, that way you can go to his channel. He's got more lists. But yeah, I, I ran into uh, this guy's channel, I looked at the brew, I was like, you know what? It's a fairly aggressive deck. It's red deck win. Is this probably the best deck? No, his uh, goal was budget. This is a budget uh, red deck win list. But it seemed decent enough. I play with it. Sometimes it wins, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I'm going to play a few games with this and uh, give it a shot. The, the main theme of this deck, if you can probably tell from the different uh, cards is this card so we can take advantage of uh, fiery temper you know we got the uh, ravenous blood seeker the other cards that interact with the, this card um but yeah anyways let's uh hop into a game and uh, see how it goes all right first game let's make sure uh that we play this one well i'm gonna keep bumping into my disc let me move that all right so yes we like to play first and um, just to uh, throw one thing out there if you guys haven't seen it this is being recorded on a Wednesday and guess what happened today Felder Guardian got banned so that's exciting I personally didn't give a shit um, it was it was a cancerous deck but you know whatever is being played I um, I just roll with it you know that's it sucks, but I like playing magic, and I'm not gonna let, you know, the monotony of a deck, uh, hook me down. I mean, I was, uh, I wasn't playing Fellow Dark Guardian, so it didn't really matter to me. But it's exciting. It's gonna be exciting to see what, uh, decks people come up. Uh, the reason why I haven't also been uploading, uh, any video since that last, uh, match or working on uh, any video since the last uh, whatchamacallit since the last uh, blue tron that's what i was looking for it's uh, because of um i've been working on some decks i've been trying to come up with lists i know i mentioned i wanted to play Spur zombie which is something that I want to play, and I know uh, people have been making builds for it, but I kind of want to make my own build. I don't want to go off of their build. Uh, in the end, it might be similar. Who knows? But and then there's also Black White Control that I mentioned that I might be playing. So that's something else that I want to that I want to try to pop up, or maybe I'll just try Asper Control. So. We'll just see. We'll just see what I come up with. But I've been I've been trying to brew my own list, especially now the Fellow Gardens ban. People have no idea what they might play, so it's gonna be exciting. We have a pretty slow start. That's uh, it's not exactly a fast start for this deck. We're against the control deck too, which isn't the best thing. I wonder if we should collective defiance and force them to um, get rid of some shit. Hmm. Hmm. I 
I'm actually gonna use it on myself. Cause we're we're probably not gonna need any of this. I mean we might no, let's wait. Let's see what we're up against. There's no reason to kinda jump the gun. I'm assuming it's control because I'm seeing Esper and a removal spill, and that's probably you know, give us some time, see what it might be. For all I know, it could be Esper zombies, right? And then I'm pitching away removal for nothing. Okay. So, we'll give it one more turn and see what happens. <laughs> oh god, this is terrible. I'm not... We don't really want four lands. This, you know, we're not worried about a curse, so we don't really care about having four lands in a curse. Okay, so what the hell is this? When Naga Oracle enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards. Okay. So it's still a control deck. Yeah, it's definitely a control deck. Where does it put it? But any number of them in the graveyard in the direct. Okay, so it might still be a zombie deck. Let's see what he puts in the graveyard. Okay, no, it's just a control deck. I was, you know, waiting to see like a prized amalgam or something hit the grave, but that didn't happen. Well, we're gonna blast it because otherwise we we can't get through. There we go, now we have some gas. So we can uh, be a little bit more aggressive with it. So, th what the deck is supposed to be, it's kind of a janky build. Uh, like I mentioned in the little intro, it's supposed to be a budget build. And this is nothing to fault the guy that I got the deck list from. He went for a budget build, and this is a budget build, and it can win games. I kind of kept a shitty hand. This deck can definitely win much sooner than it is doing now but so the deck really wants to try to put out a bunch of um there's a lot of one mana cost creatures uh, so that's kind of thing just kind of try to flood the board and then start discarding a bunch of cards and pump a bunch of creature in the process so we're not getting anything so i'm going to do this and hopefully we draw a two decent card. This one will get pumped up a little bit and we can swing in for some damage. So hopefully it won't get removed. Okay, we'll put out the Gorger. Gorgers are a really good creature. What mana to one? Aggressive. What red ones? Doesn't matter if you're playing vampires or not. It does affect a couple of creatures in this deck, but it's nothing impressive. That's fucking annoying. Okay. Well, we'll be able to kill it anyways. Yeah, we'll be able to get rid of it. So this kind of sucks. I really don't want to just kind of cast Reckless Bushwhacker, but we have nothing. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take down the Dovin. So yeah, after, after the Dovin hit the field, this is definitely now a uh, control list. Uh, no questions about it. Hopefully we're not going to... If we get hit by a sweeper, we just kind of lose. Because <laughs> I have nothing in hand. No draw spells, nothing. There's really no way for me to get back from that. Eh, uh, yep. Oh, okay, Noxious Gearhulk. Well, that's a pain in the ass, but... They're not gonna gain that much life. Okay, so they're worried about the guy that gets pumped uh, with this card. But, you know, we have nothing in hand, so I'm not sure why they wouldn't just get rid of one of these. It's fine. So, now we can do one or two things. We can wait for him to attack. 
Yeah, we can wait for him to attack and then swing in for four. Or we can swing in, see if it blocks, and then we just kind of sacrifice a creature and we fiery temper. The problem is if they untap and they have removal, then, you know. <laughs> but if they don't have removal, which I don't think they do. Yeah, let's wait. I don't think they have removal in hand simply because they haven't been playing it for a couple of turns now. They played a couple of fatal pushes, but that was it. I mean, of course, they just played the Gear Hulk now, but I think I can trade because I'm ahead in. Well, one swing is gonna even us out, so we'll see. I want to trade a couple of blows. See if I draw something like the um, what's it called here, Collective Defiance, or a Fiery Axe or something and blow it up. I really don't want to trade a creature in here, so I'm just hoping that they don't have that uh, removal spell. That would really suck. Ah, come on. Okay, yeah, that's gonna... That's pretty much gonna seal the deal right there. So, yeah, we lose a creature. But, huh. Yeah, that's something I wasn't expecting. That's interesting. That sucks. Okay, so here we have a Gorger. This is hoping that they don't have another Essence Flux in hand, I guess. So, we'll try to trade here. I mean, th this is like, either I'm bluffing or something is gonna happen. Which is him killing my shit. Okay... I mean, I guess they, they're kind of like, okay, you're attacking into my Noxious Gear Hulk. What do you have up your sleeve? So I'm pretty sure that this game is kind of lost on my end. I should just kind of concede and go to side, but... I still don't want to trade because I have no other creature. Okay, if that's... Okay, I was gonna say, if that's another Essence Flux, then... At this battle, if you remember, turn target creature to its owner's hand. Okay, well... This is a budget Esper deck. And it's fucking annoying. <laughs> uh, well, it's doing what Esper does. It's actually pretty good. Like, this is doing the same thing that blue-white, well, granted, the, minus the flash part, but, you know, your control are your creatures, so you're putting out threats while you're controlling the board. So, let's see, four, five, eh. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can still have one more turn, because if we can draw stuff to clear these two out, then we can... Uh, <clears throat> We can push through because now he's in almost top deck mode. So if all he has in his hand is just lands, then we're good. So we just have to hope that we draw something because they're sma getting smacked for nine. What's that? Okay, well, yeah. All right, so sideboard. We definitely want to bring these in to kill those damn flyers. And we can easily take out a, where is it, Shock. Shock does a whole lot of nothing here. So a Soul Scar Maze, yeah, it has Prowess, but we don't exactly cast a bunch of spells. This is like the one card that I didn't really like seeing in the deck. Where is it? Where'd it go? Soul Scar Mage. Hey! Where the fuck did the Soul Scar Mage... Oh, the... <laughs> that's the fucking Tears of Falcon. Uh, I thought I brought all three of them in. The hell? Oh, okay. So, that was a waste of time. I mean, do I count that as game one? I don't think I do. I think I just play another one here, but it's been 15 minutes already. Hmm. What do I do? See, smart me. 
would just stop the video and be like, well, you just wasted 15 minutes of your life. Just re-record and get into another game. But nope. I have stuff to do. Not really. <laughs> uh, but I'll count this as a game. Opponent consider, I guess. They could, they, they, they just feared what I might bring in on the sideboard. Um, well, I guess that's it then. Uh, that's it for game one. So control, as always, shuts down aggro decks. Uh, so, just to run you through what I was going to board in, uh, I was obviously... Man, get out of here. Uh, so, I was obviously going to bring in Tears of Alka because they obviously have Flyers, and I can't deal with Flyers. And then I was going to bring in the Glory Bringer because that 4 damage kills the Noxious Gear Hulk. It kills the, uh, the Birdie Birdie. And then I was probably going to bring in Chandra. I was thinking of also the Hanware Battleman Garrison combo because it's really aggressive and even if my opponent gets rid of one, at least it leaves me with a few tokens to be able to constantly swing in with. So there's that. So yeah, I had a few options to bring in. I was gonna sideboard some stuff, was kind of wanting to see how it work against control, but my opponent didn't give me that chance and uh, that's that. So I'll see you guys in game two.